Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. I wanted to share with you a, a fishing session today out on the lower stages of the tide throwing soft plastics for a mixed bag of species. So basically prior to this, I'd had my mum and dad out in the boat a couple of times uh, when the weather was great. The weather had then blown up. So basically after a couple of days of waiting for the wind to drop, dad and I just gave up and we decided let's go 20, 25 knots or whatever. We're gonna go and see if we can find a fish. So we decided to keep it really simple and throw one of our favorite presentations, the two and a half inch slim swims on a quarter 1.0 TT Demons jig head. We know that a stack of different species eat it, so we're confident throwing this around. So first stop, we ducked up a creek to chase a few flatties. And then from there, we headed out onto some more open water, some low tide flats and a big drain to chase a mixed bag of species. So I hope you enjoy this episode, fishing the lower stages of the tide with that beautiful little Slim Swims. Fish on. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what are you? First cast of the session, Dad. Yeah, first cast of the session. What have we got here? It's got a bit of speed to it. Flatfish. Beautiful start. <laughs> oh, how good's fishing? <laughs> Dad and I have just snuck up the creek to get out of the wind. Fishing two and a half inch slim swims on quarter one eyes. And we're just basically going to hop the edges and work the edges. I'll bring him back around to you, Dad. And we got a nice flatty first up, first cast. Oh, no, we no, here she comes. <laughs> there you go, folks. We're keeping it super simple. Just running those two and a half inch slimmies on a quarter one oh. Uh, proven performer on, you know, brim, grunter, flatties, all sorts of species. But that's a that's a beautiful little flathead to start our session. Probably 45 or thereabouts. Brilliant. He's had a crack at that. And that chemically sharpened gamakatsu hook on the oh, on the demons has found its mark. Beautiful. Fish on. Oh no. Oh that was that. <laughs> the electric. How'd you catch a stingray in the head? I don't believe it. He is a nice flatty. There you come, buddy. Good job, Dad. Beautiful fish. Dirty all slim swims. Quarter ounce 1 0 TT demons. Hooked well and truly in the side of the jaw, Dad. He's a nice flatty. Beautiful. It's kind of good because the wind's holding us, pushing us this way a little, and the tide's coming back out this way. You're right, on, you're on the sort of on the edge there, Dad, so we might catch a little bit of weed, but we'll see how we go. Just got to get us out a bit, and that wind's pushing us back in that way fairly quickly. So you're right along the edge of the drop off there. We're up in the narrow end of it. We should get brimbos straight up if nothing else. Yep, fish on. <laughs> nice work, Dad. Brimbo? He's coming at you with the current. Yep, nice brimbo. He's all right. We're probably going to get rained on. We're fishing in a bit of a, she's not a great day, a bit of wind blowing and that sort of thing, but we've put ourselves in the spot where we should catch a couple of fish. So that's a good start, Dad. Fish on. So we were up the creek. We were fishing up a shallow creek, got a few flatties, which was pretty good. We've moved out into a bit of a deeper drain, water dropping off the flats, and hopefully we can get a few fish out of here. A 
little fella. <laughs> He's away. All right. That was cool, mate. Well, is that your second cast here? Shows some promise. I've let you in on the edge a bit more there, so if I need to bring you out, just let me know if you're weed up or anything. Hey! <laughs> You get drilled on that edge. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, go you good thing. <laughs> that one's got a bit of go to it, dad. It's a. What is that? Is that a good brim? I think it is. I think it's silver. Might be. A, it looked a bit funny when I saw it. I thought it was a sweet lip or something. I think it might be a sweetie. Got a, got a bit of colour. Yeah, might be a sweet lip, dad. Not that I saw a great deal of it. Come on. It's a snapper. <laughs> 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 oh, gosh, he's going to be a bit short, but he's yeah. a beautiful looking fish. He is a lovely one. <laughs> there you go, folks. Bit of a crazy mixed bag in here. A snapper on the running up tide. Let's have a look at this guy. He's not going to make the mark, but it's, it's a pretty cool fish. About 30. Good job, Dad. He clunked it, eh? Hey, there you right. go. How cool is that fish? Yeah. What a beautiful looking fish. See you, buddy. Beautiful. That's pretty cool, mate. <laughs> That's lovely, <right? laughs> He gave you a bit of stick, too. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't expecting that one. I'm just going to sneak out just a smidge. Don't want to drag you too far off that edge because you're going good on that edge. You're in a long way there, Dad. Might bring you out a bit. You might still be right because they'll be, they'll be working their way down that edge as they leave the channel here, eh? So it's, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. And you had a good hit before that too. Yeah, it looks like this, maybe there somewhere, yeah, a little bit to the right maybe. But just see if it's too shallow, we can always change it up. Yeah, it's funny because the dirty water line's out here a little. Fish, buckle up, how's that? We just made a move up into some shallower water. We got a big low, 0.84, so we thought the fish might be holding up in the shallow water. And straight on, nice flatty dart, nice flatty. He's gone under the boat because the flow's under the boat. He's a nice flat fish. Beautiful. Two and a half inch slim swims, dirty oil, still getting a run. He scoffed it too. He has inhaled that. Ronnie's smashing them, folks. <laughs> He's not mucking around today. All right, let's get this guy. Come on. I think the navigator might be putting me on the spot. Now, <laughs> that's there you go. That's a nice fish. Probably a probably a fifty. Getting towards fifty. You can see that plastic, he well and truly he wanted that one. He's bitten it off. But one's very safely in the net, so that's okay. Spin it around. This one might be going in the box for Ronnie for dinner. We often keep one flatty, then we send them back. So this fella's dinner I'd say and we'll tie this plastic back on get out there again two and a half inch slim swims dirty oil color green colored TT demons jig head quarter ounce 1 0 beautiful one for catching fish on the edges it's a good depth right through here for a flatty or brim or grunt or anything right through this area Yep. <laughs> All the way in there. <laughs> Stingray. Jagged in the butt. 
There might be another flatty dart. It's going. Do you want me to chase it? Might be a Trev. Trev? Did I just see silver? The wind's causing havoc. Just be patient. Take your time. Doing a few laps of the boat. Where's that crab bot? Yeah, we'll back That's it, use the rod on him. It's a Trev. Is it? Yeah. A good one you've just got to slow him enough to get him up <laughs> running's on fire we could be sitting at home in this foul weather but why not get out here and catch a few fish hey eh? he's just about done dad yeah He's in, he's in, he's in. He's a good one. That's a nice one. Just let some line out there, you're right. Alright. You need a pick with that guy. So you got gloves on, hey? Yeah. Yep, so you can grab that, grab his tail. Beautiful. I'll just chuck that out of your way. You can grab his tail with one glove and then grab it underneath his head with the other. What a cool fish. They fight hard, those little guys, eh? <laughs> you think? <laughs> That's beautiful. Nice work, Dad. That is a brilliant fish. I'll get the hook out and you can just bomb him back if you want. Yeah. I'll get him on camera getting released. Ah, oh, there we go, nice GT. And she's away. Beautiful, beautiful. There you go, there's another nice fish for Dad. Even though it's windy conditions, always remember you can use the wind to your advantage. So we're using wind over tide here to slow our drift down so we can really work the areas we want to fish. And we're using that wind to throw a big long cast as well. So we're covering plenty of water, just fanning those casts around the boat, covering plenty of water and working these edges where the fish are sort of moving along the edges as the tide drops. But that's pretty good, mate. You've had a, a brim, a snapper, a trevally, and a flathead. And I'm a good boat driver. <laughs> Uh, he's giving me a flogger today. That's pretty good. We had those three flatties up the creek first. We were hiding from the wind and fishing the, the run, a bit of that run out tide, hiding up the creek out of the wind, which was good. But also, you know, we really, we flogged that area fairly quickly. It was just a small area out of the wind. So now we're braving the wind and we're back out in amongst it. So both plans worked. You can always hide up the creek or you can get out and use that wind to throw long casts and slow your drift. Might have been a different variety again, my brother. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. Yes. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's rubbish. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I'll put my... Put my slim swims down, picked up the little micro finesse, got a fish straight up. Only a little tucker, but I'm in I'm back in the game. Little grunter. <laughs> uh, back in the game. 
1.75 in shad fries. One eighth ounce, one o. TT headlocks for Nass. How's that? I'm back in the game. Look out! <laughs> Got the little giant killer on. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> One point seven five in shad fries. I'm making a comeback. <laughs> as long as it's not a mullet, we'll be right. Oh, that's a solid grunter. That's a good grunter, Dad. There you go, are they? <laughs> there you go, folks. So that's that's madness. Like we're in the shallows now, pretty much, and I've changed to that 1.75 inch shad fries, 34 centimeter grunter, two grunter in quick time. You get a rattle? Yeah. Yeah, we should should be in amongst them here. There you go, buckle up. <laughs> it's getting cranky. Nice flatty dart. We just had to get up into that shallow stuff again, eh? You see? Beautiful, yep. Oh, yeah. Nice one, yep. Oh, he's, he's a good one. Look how shallow the water is. Another nice flight. Good job, Dad. Yeah, well, how's that? We're fishing the deep edge. As soon as we move back into the shallow water, fish on. Beautiful. I'm getting you off again. Oh, I'll fix it up. <laughs> I know, time, I'll fix it up. Let me do it and you get. No, it'll only take me a second. You get in the water. Well, you just, just grab that other one. Just flick that one while I get, while I get that sorted. Yep, yeah, I'll just motor us in a bit. Up onto this bank a bit more. Not that I can see anything. Probably going to run us the ground, am I? Beautiful, mate. I'm the neck guy. <laughs> He's a beautiful flathead. Just got to get that lure out of there. There you go, folks. Got to get the lure out of this one and we'll get it back in the water. But that's dart in action again. As soon as we got into that shallow stuff, boom, fish on. We fished a deeper edge with no luck. But that's a beautiful little flatty. 2.5 inch slim swims again in that dirty oil colour on a one quarter ounce 1 0 TT Demons fish on. Hey, that's a Trevally. <laughs> nah, it might be a Brimbo. Grunter. Grunter. Oh, they're good size Grunter. <laughs> He's 32. 32. Apple Good fun good. though. Oh yeah. They, they pull hard on the light here. They hit them, don't they? Alright, we've only just uh, changed the GoPro battery over. Oh mate, straight back into it again. He's not mucking around. What's this one, Ronnie? Big flatty. We just got rid of that grunter. Oh, that's a big brim, is it? That's another grunter, I think. Yeah. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> oh, well, having a bit of fun on the grunter on this drain. Here's another nice one. Oh, there you go. There you, you, go. you can get back into it. This place wants to be let go. Grunting away. They are good fun, these guys. Here's the 32, same as the other one. Alright. Let's catch a big grunter. Certainly had quieter days in better weather. This is why I love flats fishing guard. Yeah. Like, you know, you'd not imagine trying to fish particular structure in, on a day like this. Like it's just a nightmare with that wind. But we could just use the wind to our advantage, cover plenty of ground. Now we're still working structure, but it's just more broad. 
drains, edges, weed flats. <laughs> that thing drilled it as soon as it hit the water. There you go, folks. What do you want to do in 25 knot winds? <laughs> Come out and do some flats fishing. That's the go. Yeah, I saw he was pretty well hooked in the mouth, so I just gave him a swing. Yeah, <clears throat> he's a good, fun little fish. There you go, folks, that little two and a half inch slim swims again. Getting the job done. As soon as that hit the water, that guy ate that, so that was brilliant. Little dusky. About 42 centimetres, so a just legal one. We'll send him back and we'll uh, see if Ronnie can get a bigger one. <laughs> I have no doubt he will. Got a bit of stick to it. Angry little flatfish. One of those long skinny jobs. Gee, we're getting a few floaties across this flat bar. Another nice little floaty. Brilliant. There you go, folks. Blowing 25 knots. Oh, he spat the lure out, that's good. I don't think he'll make it great. Here's one of those long skinny ones. He's a legal fish. If you wanted to eat him, you could. But there you go, you know, it's crazy winds today. But we've made the effort, got out here, and got ourselves a few fish. So it's been a great fun session, today, not it? Beautiful. Brilliant fun. Considering it's blowing a gale, if I turn around that way, you'll hear the wind and the mic. But we're just using that wind to throw big long casts and cover this whole flat that we're fishing. All right, back into it. All right, folks, there you go. We've been getting flogged by a howling gale for the last few days, and we just got sick of waiting. So we've got out here and we've used that breeze to our advantage. So we snuck up the creek, we fished up there, and out on the flats here, we're using that wind to push us across the flat and also to throw big, long cast, which has produced snapper flatty grunter brim trevally all sorts of species so hopefully you get the opportunity to get out soon if it is blowing think about where you might be able to tuck out of the wind or use that wind to push you over some nice big flats that's it from us for this one all the best with the fishing fish on